Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round fractions to either 0 or 1 using number lines. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now in this video, we're only going to be working with fractions that are in between 0 and 1. So let's jump right into number 1 where we have 3 fourths. So let's find this on the number line first. And we're cut into fourths here, 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths, which is equivalent to one whole. So 3 fourths is right here. Now when we're rounding to either 0 or 1, basically what we're doing, we're seeing is that fraction closer to 0 or is it closer to 1? And that's what you round to. Now the halfway point is right here, 2 fourths. So we can tell that 3 fourths is closer to 1 and therefore rounds to 1. So we do not want an equal sign. We draw a symbol like this. This means close to or approximate and it helps us when we round fractions or numbers so we don't put an equal sign there because 3 fourths is not equal to 1. It rounds to or is close to 1. Now another rule if we look up here, if we didn't have this number line, we round up if the fraction is greater or equal to a half. So always round up if the fraction is greater or equal to a half. So let's take a look at number two, where we have two fifths. So this would be one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths, which is equivalent to one whole. And on this one, I'll label so we can see here. And if you need help with um, placing fractions on number lines, I do have a video on how to do this. I dropped that link down in the description. And lastly, four fifths here. So two fifths is right here. Now five is an odd number, so we don't have a mark at the halfway point. It's going to be two and a half is uh, half of five. So the half would be right here. So we can tell that we are closer to zero. So two fifths is approximately or rounds to zero. And again, two fifths is less than a half. So it rounds uh, to zero. So number three here, we have four sevenths. So one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths, four sevenths, five sevenths and six sevenths. So four sevenths is right here. And half of seven is three and a half. So this would be the halfway point here. So we're to the right of that. So we are closer to one. So four sevenths rounds to one. And lastly, number four, we have one third. So we have one third here and two thirds here. Let's place one third on our number line. And half of three is one and a half. So that's going to be right here. So we can tell that we are closer to zero and one third is less than a half. So we round to zero. The most important part of this video is understanding that we round a fraction up if it's greater or equal to a half. Now the equal to is a common question. So if you have like two fourths or just one half even, anything equivalent to a half, that rounds up. So there you have it. There's how you round fractions that are between zero and one um, to zero or one. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.